What is your name? Clara Souza Silva. And um, Clara, are we alone in the universe? Maybe we are, maybe we're not. That's the best you can do? It's the best I can do without uh, perjuring myself. <laughs> perjuring yourself? Why would you need to <laughs> perjure yourself? We may not be alone in the universe, um, but if we are, that's okay. And if we're not, then it is kind of our uh, philosophical duty to figure that out. In the question, are we alone, what did you understand by the word we? I mean life. Life. Viruses? Yes. <laughs> so we, are we the viral and other life forms on Earth alone? I'm sure if you interviewed them, they would say as much. Okay. Uh, do you think the question, are we alone, is an important question? Yes, I do. Why? Well, philosophically, I think it's the crucial question. Uh, but I think pragmatically, I think um, figuring out in which way we're special and which way we're not uh, can only be a good thing. You think your parents or your grandparents would answer the same way? I like, guess it's an important question. Or well, my grandparents were in a war, so I think they had bigger things to so bigger fish to fry. War is, war is more important than the question: Are we not? I think it's a privilege to uh, be sufficiently healthy and happy to question our existence in the universe. Um, I don't presume that everyone in the world and throughout history has been equally concerned with life out there. If I gave you a hundred billion dollars with the caveat you had to spend it to try to answer the question, are we alone, how would you spend it? Well, I would personally spend it on figuring out every gas that every possible life form can make, figuring out what the gas would look like in every possible atmosphere, then point all our telescopes at as many atmospheres as possible until we found a biosphere that was a smoking gun for life. You wouldn't make another telescope so you could do this more easily? I believe in quantity over quality. Quantity over quality, okay, okay. Um, no SETI research? Of course. I don't, I don't think any of the electromagnetic spectrum uh, is uh, more special than the other. I think we should look everywhere. So, so you're going to invest what fraction of your money in SETI? Into radio. Very little. Right, what, 1%? Maybe less. How about microscopes? Would you buy any microscopes to look for nano alien? No. No. That's too stupid an idea? It's too far away. Do you have a favorite solution to Fermi's paradox? I don't believe it's truly a paradox. Because? Um, because there is no necessary controversy. There's a lot of points we don't know. But yes, if we were, if we're not special, then there should be more. And given that there seems like there isn't, that is a paradox, but it's a pretty flimsy one. Well, it seems to me that you can easily have life elsewhere, but as you said earlier, you don't think it could be human-like intelligence, and that therefore you have a solution. Oh, no, it's not that I don't think, it just doesn't seem like it, and I wouldn't dare to pronounce on it given there's only one data point on Earth. Mm. Different. Um, solution to the Fermi paradox is that either it, uh, solution to the Fermi paradox is the same as the solution to Drake equation. It's likely extremely rare, and there's a finite number of stars in the galaxy, so the fact there's a large number doesn't help very much. On Earth, there's trillions of species that have existed, and one can communicate across galaxies and can do it very poorly. So it's not that crazy, even just using normal Drake equation numbers to only get one for the size of the galaxy. This MOOC I'm making is for students who are interested in astrobiology. Do you have any advice for them? Even if you find nothing, most of the tools that astrobiologists need, and in my case, um, quantum astrochemists need, are uh, about finding molecules anywhere. And although I'm doing it to find molecules associated with an alien biosphere, in the meantime, molecules behave the same no matter where in the universe they are. So my work can be used to find forest fires and improve combustion engines. And so, like most fields in astrobiology, because it's multidisciplinary, in the meantime, while you're trying to figure out if there's alien life out there, which is the biggest question, you can solve so many of the little questions here.